Hello, fellow YouTubers and reef enthusiasts. Frank here. Uh, I just wanted to document a uh, prototype of an auto top off that I'm putting together. So this is the first attempt at it, and uh, it's pretty cool because I got to discover quite a few different things that uh, need to change. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, lower the water level by raising uh, my skimmer up a little bit. And the switch is actually pretty sensitive. Uh, the switch is one of those switches that I got off of eBay. And uh, before I go any further, I just want to encourage you guys to really uh, be careful uh, working with electricity. You really shouldn't unless you know what you're doing. I've taken a lot of necessary precautions. Uh, so if you don't know what you're doing, uh, as a matter of fact, if you do know what you're doing, uh, I don't encourage it uh, as this is for personal documentation. Uh, with that being said, uh, the only thing I really need to work on is the bracket a little bit, and I've got a design that I think I'm going to like a little bit better for this. Uh, I've got a, this is for a JBJ uh, a Nano Cube uh, DX12, so the hoods on all of those uh, bio cubes and nano cubes are pretty tight tolerances, which looks really cool and is actually a pretty awesome feature. The problem is if you hang anything over the back, and you don't go through the hood, uh, it pops the hinges out a little bit. So other than that, uh, I was able to tuck the wiring in pretty nicely under the hood, which uh, is definitely a benefit. Um, but uh, like I said, this is just uh, a prototype, me testing it out. seems to work pretty good. Uh, with that being said, go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, when I put the final build together, I'll go ahead and document up the bracket and everything and share that with, uh, with you folks so that way uh, you can see if that will work for you. Uh, thanks, and have a great evening.